anything like me, you're not a big fan of finding spiders in crawl spaces or getting in the attic in the middle of the summer. But at the same time, you understand that module level monitoring can help your business drive more referrals as customers share their performance online. With No Before You Go monitoring, you can provide the level of service needed to get five-star reviews on online rating sites. In today's digital world, monitoring is more important than ever. That's why at SolarEdge, we're providing you with a cellular GSM card with a 12-year hardware and a 12-year data plan included. Let's go take a look and see how to install this card. So let's look at what you get in the box. The cellular modem comes with a pre-installed SIM card. You get an antenna, a mounting clip for the antenna, the installation guide, a modem holder, a cable tie down, and a firmware upgrade card. First check the CPU version. It needs to be 3.18 or higher. This will enable module level data. If you need to upgrade the inverter, you'll need to use the supplied SD card. Please see our other videos to find out more about upgrading the inverter. So cellular, let's dive right in. Awesome. Basically, cellular gives us a cost-effective, reliable way of getting data from the inverter to the internet. Uh, you avoid the pitfalls of attics and crawl spaces and relying upon the homeowner's internet, and it's not PLC or Wi-Fi devices, so it's very reliable and robust. Great. First, attach the antenna. If you're not mounting the antenna on the inverter, you can install the clip on the wall using two screws. The antenna must be vertical and have a radial clearance of about two and a half inches from metal surfaces. Route the antenna cable along the inner fins of the inverter side. Make sure the cable is not hanging loose outside of the inverter enclosure. Now let's install the card. Turn the inverter switch to the off position and let the voltage drain down. Press the LCD button to verify that the voltage level is below 50 volts. You'll see the note saying DC voltage not safe, do not disconnect. Once the voltage has reached below 50 volts, you can power down the inverter safely using the DC safety switch. You should follow this procedure every time you power down the inverter as it helps to protect the inverter over its lifetime. Turn the AC breaker to the off position and follow proper lockout tagout procedures. Remove the inverter cover. Open the left side cable gland to route the cable. Remove the seal and insert the cable into the pre-cut opening. Insert the seal back into the cap and tighten the cap onto the inverter base. Pull any excess cable into the inverter. Plug the modem into the communication board, making sure that all pins are correctly positioned and no pins are left out of the connector. Loosen the standoff screw here. Attach the card holder and rotate it into place. Use the standoff screw to secure it. Connect the antenna cable to the cellular modem and hand tighten. Install the cable tie down on the side of the communication board and secure the cable to the board. Now we're going to verify that the modem has power. Turn on the AC breaker. The inverter now has AC power and we can verify the card is working properly. All of the LEDs should be lit. The power LED is here and it should be green. Secure the cover back onto the inverter. Now we need to configure the inverter for the cellular connection. We're gonna use the LCD button for this. Short presses will cycle through the menu Long presses will work like enter and dive deeper into the menu options. Enter the setup mode by holding the LCD button for about five seconds. Let go when you see the following message. Scroll down to the communication menu and select it. Select server, select cellular. Back out to the home screen by selecting the exit option in each menu screen. Server should display cell. Status is OK if the inverter established a connection to the modem. SOK tells us that communication to the SolarEdge monitoring portal was successful. SIG is the signal strength received from the modem. Zero is no signal and five is excellent signal strength. 
Now you can turn on the DC disconnect and the inverter on off switch back to the on position. Great, so that's how you verify the signal strength once you've done the installation, but what about before you do the installation? Is there a way to check your signal strength ahead of time? Yeah, you can go to Solar Edge's website and find the Solar Edge cellular kit. And there's gonna be a map that shows the network coverage. You can check signal strength there or by looking on the data sheet. Great, thanks. Here's a list of the data plans offered by Solar Edge. Pay attention to the location of your installation and the type of inverter. We provide 12-year hardware warranties on all GSM cards and 12-year data packages to go with the GSM network. Thanks for joining us today and stay tuned for more how-to videos from SolarEdge.